Everybody, let's welcome Noah Waterman inside Studio C. <laughs> Seat. What's up, man? What's up, coach? Good, baby. All right, let's do this. Come on. Once again, the shortest person on the set. <laughs> shortest <laughs> one. <laughs> Trust me, it's the story of my life. <laughs> so welcome, uh, welcome to Studio C. How are you? I'm doing good. So Thanks for having me. You bet, absolutely. Uh, so we, we were talking with Coach about his Christmas. I understand you had quite an eventful uh, holiday because I was wondering if you guys were going to have time to go anywhere. My understanding, you went home, but you weren't able to stay home for very long. Right, yeah. So that was an interesting trip, I'm going to be honest. So everybody got like three days off, and yeah. I'm like, I'm all excited. I'm on the whole other side of the country, but I'm like, all right, I'm going to make the trip. He's from New York. I'm from Savannah, New York. New York. Which, which is the epicenter of this nuclear freeze that we just had, <laughs> yeah. right? Like yeah. Savannah was literally the center yeah, of it. Yeah, it, it was bad. Yeah. So, but then I got to Chicago fine, and then once I got to Chicago, all my flights got canceled. I tried to hop on like three different ones. Luckily, Bobby was staying in Chicago, so Coach Bobby picked me up. I went to his house, stayed the night, and then he dropped me off in the morning. I got to go home for about like eight, nine hours, but I got to see my family, so... <laughs> so I've got to imagine there was probably some stressful moments when you're wondering if you're going to be able to get your team back here, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, especially I'm watching the Buffalo Bills fly home and they're trying to dig their cars out from 10 feet of snow. Right. That's an hour from where you mm -hmm. are. Yeah. So super proud of Noah. Super happy he made it back. All right. Uh, I, I assume there's a lot of people that know this, but you're one of nine kids, right? So where mm -hmm. do you fall in the nine kids? Yeah, so I got a big family. Um, I'm the baby boy. I got a little sister. She's 18. And then everybody else is Look at this little me. baby face, man. Yeah. Look at this baby face. I know, face. I know, it I know. beautiful. I'm growing into it soon. <laughs> Did you, by the way, you probably thought in New York, nine kids, you're like, wow, we're, we're really different. You had no idea coming to Utah. That's just run of the mill, right? Yeah, for real. <laughs> like, everybody has nine kids here. <laughs> so, all right. So, now, we found uh, this video, and we actually want to play a little bit of this. Um, this, this your brothers, Heath and uh, Josiah, mm -hmm. wrote a song called Home. So, let, let's play just a little bit of this. Let's, let's check this out. What? Okay. Okay, let's, okay. let's listen to this. What's that from inside with the wind to his back? The first question I have for you, is that you with the baby? That is me. That's my little nephew. <laughs> yeah, we're a tight family. So. Okay, so how, how long ago was this? How old were you in that? When this? Um, I want to say this is probably three years ago. Um, Look at that. Look at the dad skills already kicking that is in. Impressive, man. <laughs> that is impressive. That's what happens when you grow, in a, grow up in a big family, you know? So uh, now you... Uh, Obviously, a musical family. I mean, are all of you musical? Are you musical? Do you play an instrument? Do you yeah. sing? So, I don't sing. I'm not a very good singer. I could try if you okay. want me to, but I'd rather not. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I grew up playing music. Like, that's what my whole family did. Uh, I grew up playing the drums, guitar, ukulele, all that stuff. I didn't even start playing basketball until the eighth grade. So, it's like, that's what we did. Just played music, hung out with the family, went to church. Um, but once I hit the eighth grade, that's when I found out about basketball. I started playing it. So, did you know this about him, the musical family I, thing? I didn't learn it till his official visit. Then I started to learn <laughs> a little bit about it. But like that song right now with the family, that explains a lot about because Noah is, is about laid back as a dude as you're ever gonna meet. <laughs> and that was very much that's like an anthem for you. That's yeah. that's how yeah, I like it. Well, I, re I remember it was one of the games in the Bahamas. I interviewed you for for radio pregame, and mm. you were saying that that you had your, your street was kind of known as Waterman Street because, you, you know, you lived, your mom was there, you had a sister that lived, it's kind of like you owned the street, yeah. it was your own little street. Yeah, we really do kind of own the street, it's kind of cool. We're the only two, like, houses on the whole street, so. Well, the thing is, in Savannah, there's only two streets. <laughs> yeah, only two streets, four houses, so. So we're there's two the of the houses. What family owned the other street? Uh, the Reed family. Do you guys get along? Nah. Uh, nah see, we got a little feud. Like a little rumble between Ooh, the two streets. Yeah, we, we don't talk to that. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, how has the first year so far been for you in Provo? Uh, it's been great. Like, I really like it. Um, a little culture shock at first because I was at Detroit before this, so it was just a little different. But once I adjusted, <laughs> just a little. I, yeah, you're just, saying, just you're saying a little bit. Downtown Detroit a little different than downtown Provo. Uh, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but so far it's been great. Everybody I meet, I like, so can't Wh complain. Why was it important that you had him in this program? 
So a uh, bunch of things. One, I always like to think about who knows as a person. Like he brings a joy to our to our team and a little bit of swag that's actually super special. Um, like I said, he's an easy going, laid back, just a beautiful human being. That's the best part. And then he also brings a skill set at his size that's incredibly unique. I mean, he's 6'9", handles the ball, is the best shooter on our team right now, shooting over 40% from the three-point line, is a playmaker, actually started making high-low passes last game. Woo! <laughs> Got you, <Yes>. guys. <laughs> uh, he's done an unbelievable job protecting the ball as a playmaker. He's one turnover the last six games, I believe that's correct, and, and has made huge tries there. But his skill set at his side is really, really special. And then watching him grow in his urgency – to make all the between plays and the defense van and rebounding the ball, uh, his willingness to grow has been awesome. So, I mean, you throw all that, all that into a stew and it turns out it's a pretty good deal. We, we've mentioned a couple of times coming off back-to-back double-digit scoring. Uh, we mentioned the three-point shooting at 44%. Where, where do you feel you're at right now and, and how has your game progressed since the beginning of the season, do you think? Um, I think my confidence was a little low in the beginning of the season, but um, I just had to stick with it, just stay in the gym. And I knew, like, the results were going to come. So I just kept working out. Like, basketball is what I love to do. So you're always going to find me in the gym. I'm a gym rat, so. <laughs> okay, so you mentioned, and, and I'm, most people probably know you came from, from Detroit Mercy. Yeah. They're in the Horizon League. So what I did earlier today was I kind of looked at some of the conference destinations. Uh, when you were in the Horizon League, you uh, visited exotic conference locations such as Fort Wayne, Indiana, mm -hmm. uh, Highland Heights, <laughs> Kentucky, and let's not forget Moon Township, Pennsylvania. How are you feeling that your new <laughs> conference, <laughs> that your new conference locations are Malibu, LA, San Diego? Quite a difference, right? Yeah, I mean, you can't complain. Like, <laughs> well, it's definitely upgraded. Even though they're business trips, they're very nice places to, to visit. Oh, no, yeah, definitely. How, how, how well equipped do you think the team is right now heading into conference play? Uh, I think we're doing pretty good. You know, practices, we've been uh, making strides every practice, just trying to get better with guard your yard, guard your man, and everything like that. Um, and I think when we play our next game, we're obviously going to take the dub. But I think we're, I think we're in a good uh, situation right now. Yeah, you guys playing really well, and uh, now you guys head out on the road and then can start the final season in the West Coast Conference. All right, still on the way, more with Coach Pope and Noah Waterman when BYU basketball with Mark Pope continues. whole life, people have been telling me what I could do and couldn't do. I've always listened to them, believed in what they said. I don't want to do that anymore. In this lifetime, you don't have to prove nothing to nobody except yourself. Hey, what are you doing? You don't treat me like your brother, man. You were born to wear that jacket. You ready, champ? I've been ready for this my whole life. Football in Utah is all about the rivalries. Red, blue, quarterback, wide out, rewards. Wait, what? My style, checking rewards. My style, right. For Mountain America's My Style Checking, it's all about the benefits. Low discounts. But it's hard to pick a favorite. No, mobile phone protection. Tell the hell. You're going to need that when we're done. I heard that. Let's go. Get the account rivaled by no one. My Style Checking from Mountain America. If you're looking to build your brand awareness and increase market share as BYU moves into the Big 12, this is the place, BYU, BYU Athletics. Athletics. We can provide the tools you need to make sure your company is seen and heard. BYU Athletics is where you can align your products and services with loyal fans that cheer for our Cougars. And they can also help your business win. Learn more about what a partnership with BYU Athletics and your company will look like. After all, this is the place. Email sponsorship at byu.edu today. At BYU, we believe wholeheartedly in expanding joy, and that joy comes from learning and serving. Some of the best, most lasting learning happens when we serve, when we experience, when we connect in real, lasting ways. It's what we call inspiring learning, learning that inspires us to create a better world, to do and be better. After all, light shared is the best kind of light. This is BYU Basketball with Mark Pope, presented by Siegfried and Jensen. 
All right, let's get to the game portion of tonight's show. Here's how it works. I'm going to give everybody a little rundown. I'm going to give you clues to famous watermen. Okay, so we're going we're gonna to play off Noah's last name here. They can be historical, real, or fictional people that we're talking about. And your goal is to name the person before your opponent does. So this is going to be Coach Pope versus Noah. Uh, I will give you several clues about each figure. Uh, you can answer at any time. If you think you know the answer, say it. Um, and the first person that gets it is going to get the point, okay? All right, so. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> okay, Waterman trivia. We're gonna do a practice round. This is not for a point, but this is kind of this is gonna give you guys an idea of what we're what we're looking to do here. Okay, this Waterman lived great, several. Great graphic. By yeah, the it way. is pretty cool, right? <laughs> it is pretty Hema. cool. That's nice. Yeah, him, okay. him is yeah. That's that is pretty nice. This Waterman lived several thousand years ago. Okay, if you, if you think you know what it is, just shout it out. This water man was commanded to build a giant ship. Okay. Okay. Do, do, do you know it? Uh, yes. I say think, it. Yeah. Just say it. your name say. No. No. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. One point. That one counted. Okay. That one, I need that. <laughs> one right. zero. We will see. We will get to the end of the game, and then if you need the point, well, then we will count it. How about right. that? Okay. Okay. So that was. That's what it's going to be like. Okay. okay. So uh, that'll give you an idea of what we're going to do. Have All right. Have we done the whole? Have we pushed that yet? Nah. No, I mean, come on. Like, <laughs> it's you, you. How are we not milking this? It was true. Okay. Hey, every basket, two by two, right? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> three by two or three by three. We can't yeah. do three by three. Yeah. But maybe there was three just... somewhere. I don't know. Okay, here we go. And again, as soon as you think you know it, based off the clues, shout it out. Okay, right. here we go. This waterman is a fictional athlete. Fictional athlete. This waterman started their career at the university with a cougar as the mascot. Okay. okay. This waterman finished their career with the mud dogs. Oof. Oh, yes, I know this. Okay. Wait. It's Adam Sandler. Okay, what's the oh, character? Okay. Oh. Uh, uh, you don't get the point if you don't know the character. Know. Just yeah. Led their team to a 27 point comeback. Waterboy, Waterboy. Water 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 yeah. water yeah. We're going to give it to you. Bobby yeah. Boucher. Yeah. Yes. Let's go. That's me. All right, coach. All right, coach. There we go. Yes. High quality Bobby H2O. Bobby Boucher. That's right. No great names <laughs> in all of yeah. Okay. All right. Here we go. Number two. So point to coach. This waterman's favorite, favorite element is gold. This waterman was in his prime in 2008. This one's probably going to get it. This waterman yeah, represents one. the USA. You're hitting me with the tough ones. No, you know who this is. <laughs> I don't know. This won more man, gold medals. He won 28 medals. Oh, Michael Phelps. Michael yes. Phelps. There we go. Yes. There we go. The last, the last trivia, uh, the. Uh, yeah, was the Waterman's initials are MP. So there you go. Okay. All right. Number three, tied at one. This Waterman is a half human. Oh. Aquaman. Uh, oh, he beat you. Too. He now, beat you too. Now, you know, Michael Phelps was involved in one of my greatest Olympic moments ever. Do tell. Watching him, was it the 2008 Olympic relay? I mean, Leanne and I were jumping up and down on the couch as they made that comeback. It was one of the, it was one of the, you was before you were born, yeah, but it was one of the great that. moments <laughs> in Olympics history. Okay, coach, with the uh, with the advantage of two to one here. Okay, this one, you these next two, honestly, you're gonna earn you're gonna earn the points. This waterman was born in San Francisco in 1964. Um, this waterman <laughs> invented uh, toe-in big wave surfing. Oh boy. <laughs> this waterman has surfed waves as big as 70 feet high at speeds of around 50 miles per oh, hour. This one either. Okay. Wait, this one was a st this person was a stunt double for Kevin Costner in the 1995 hit. It was not a hit. Waterworld. <laughs> His initials are L H. <sighs> Somebody's got to help us. Somebody's I'm going to help. give you the, I'm gonna even give gotta, you the first. It should be Noah and I versus the studio. <laughs> Somebody's got to know the answer to this. 
Oh, Laird. Laird Hamilton. Laird. That's right. Yes. Laird. Laird. One of the great names. Yes. That's a great name too. There Laird. you go. Okay. Oh. So still two to one. Coach with the lead. Two one. This is how this is how you tie it up, and we end in a tie. How about that? What is Noah? You went straight Jeopardy. Okay. All right. This waterman was born in Hawaii before it was part of the United States, which I believe happened in the early 60s. This waterman was named for the Duke of Edinburgh. This waterman was the first Hawaiian to win an Olympic medal and the first person to be inducted into the International Swimming Hall of Fame and Surfing Hall of Fame. By the look on both of your faces, still nothing right now? No. Do you ever surf? Never. I don't know. <laughs> okay, a nine foot bronze statue of this water man can be found on Waikiki Beach in Hawaii, and it was created by a BYU alum, Jan Gordon Fisher. Initials DK. Anybody in the audience? In how do you guys It is not Donkey Kong, but I like the DK reference. Very nice. <laughs> no, you never get to do the fun. When you go to Hawaii, it's just hoops. We don't get to do any of the fun stuff. Okay, the answer is Duke Kahanamuku. Okay, nice. Duke, there's a nine foot statue of him on the Waikiki Beach. All right, so, so two to one. So because. You did get the, the test question correct. Extra point. No, it's tied. It's tied right don't now. Give it to it. It's a tie, don't. everybody. How about that? Yeah. There's no participation, <laughs> <laughs>